Talk to the Lord. Let the Lord meet you tonight. Oh, it's in the name of Jesus. I know you can pray better than the way you are praying. Use that name. Something will happen. If you use the name, miracles will take place. If you use the name, situation will change. If you use the name, signs and wonders will follow. The name of Jesus is higher than they all. All the situation we meet. Everything we saw, your name grants us victory. Can you pray? Talk to the Lord tonight. I say this night, oh God, may I experience your name. May I experience the power in your name. May I experience the grace through your name. In Jesus' name we pray. And dear Lord, we want to thank you tonight. And we bless your name tonight. And we adore your name tonight. That name Jesus, wonderful name beautiful name, excellent name, a conqueror name, a name with power. Father, we use that name tonight. Victory is ours in Jesus' name. As we look at your word and we look at the study tonight, we pray that you bless us through your name. Thank you, Father, for prayer answered. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You can please take your seat. We are looking at the Bible study tonight. The source of the 70 part 2. We took part 1 last week, Bible study. And tonight, we want to look at part 2 of it. And we are looking at Luke chapter 10. In Luke chapter 10, in verse 17. And then it says, And the 70 returned again. They returned because they went with his name. They returned again. And you, me, we shall return again. They returned again. Anytime you go with the name, nothing can stop you there. Because they went with the name. They returned with that name. The name of Jesus will never disappoint us. They went with the name of Jesus. And so they were not disappointed. They went with the name of Jesus. They couldn't stop them. No power could stop them. They returned again. And it says, they returned with joy. Saying, Lord, even the devil are subject unto us. Testimonies through thy name. We're going to look at three points in this study. Point number one, in thy name. 
Point number two. In thy given name. It was a given name. It was a given name. And then point number three. In thy more excellent name. In thy more excellent name. Point number one. In thy name. It says, we went in thy name. We experienced power in thy name. Thy name was, thy name is the source of our testimonies. As we are coming back, O oh Lord, through thy name, they were subject to us. We are testifying because of the name. The only glory that we had is your name. We conquered just in the name. Our testimonies is on the basis of thy name. Do you know that in his name you will testify? Do you know that in his name joy is coming again? Do you know that in his name salvation shall be yours? Do you know that in his name your children, your wife, your family, even you yourself, you're crossing this year. None shall die because of his name. Can you give me amen? amen? It says they return. Again, they didn't die. And it says all the signs and wonders that took place, they took place in thy name. That name so powerful. That name so glorious. And it says it was in thy name we testify. Those of you that has never testified for many years now, your testimony is at the door. If I were you, my amen would be resounding one. I say your testimony is now at the door. Because this is all those testimony we shared. We didn't share those testimonies because we were just powerful. He said, we did that just because of your name. And then number two, he says, we conquered in the name. We experienced those conquering power in the name. I don't care to know what devil, what Satan is fighting you. You are conquering them in his name. Every situation that tried to hold you bound tonight by the anointing of God on my life, you are conquering them in his name. In the name of Jesus. Are there any fibroid there? Are there any swallow on your body there? Are there any pain? Are there any sickness that is so tough? You've been there and there and it's not working. This night, all those problems, they are over in his name. In the name of Jesus. He said we conquered in the name. In Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1. In verse 21. Ephesians chapter 1 in verse 21 it says far above all principalities your name is far they couldn't see our back we carry your name your name is far above how many of you knows that devil cannot see the back of a child of God 
we are far above. We carry the name of Jesus. It says, your name is far above all principalities of power and might and dominion and every name that is named. I don't care to know the name they carry. It says, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Not only in this world, not only in Nigeria, not only in the Europe, not only in Asia. The name of Jesus is universal. It's a bow. That name, I celebrate you if you have that name. That name, it will bring answer to all your prayers. Look at Colossians chapter 2. In Colossians chapter 2, the name of Jesus is higher, far above. In Colossians chapter 2, in verse 15, Colossians now, chapter 2. See, verse 15. It says, Who bought Colossians chapter 2 in verse 15. And having spoiled principalities and power, every demonic power there. It, they are all spoiled, haven't spoiled. You know, they make all those concussions for you, it's spoiled. And then they go, they say they are setting some, you know, some things for you. If you match it, and then it's going to kill you, the Lord has spoiled it. And then they say there are something that will get you paralyzed and, uh, you know, get you frustrated. They are all spoiled tonight. If you believe that, stand and shout, Amen! And haven't spoiled all those traps they set for me. Haven't spoiled all those plans that I will not go through school. Haven't spoiled all those plans that I will not conceive. Haven't spoiled all those plans that my business will not revive. I won't spoil. All those power follow you. They are spoiled in the name of Jesus. Take your seat and listen to this. And I won't spoil principalities and powers. He make a show of them openly. Their shame is openly. Their disgrace is openly. Do you know that people will hear about it and then they will mock them and they will tell them, but you were trying to kill him, you couldn't kill him because he's going to disgrace them. How openly. You know, and, and as we're coming like this with the name of Jesus and then that man there that was planning to kill you, the Lord will spoil him openly. And then you see disgrace up, left, back, front, everywhere. And the person is poor. This night I prophesied on your life. The name of Jesus is solving all those problems in the name of Jesus. Take your seat. Point number two. In thy given name. In thy given name. They were so proud of that name. They were so happy with that name. They were so celebrating with that name. And it says, we are talking in your given name. When we were going, you didn't give us money. You give us your name. And then it says, I gave unto you my name. I gave unto you my power. I gave unto you my glory. I gave unto you my victory. I gave unto you the power. Receive power in the name of Jesus. And he 
it says, I gave. I, I'm not giving you money. I gave you power. With power, money will come. And it says, I gave you my name. And then, they were so celebrating that name because it was a given name. They says, there is nothing we need anymore. All we need is your name. And then he says, I gave you my name. With my name, go and record victory. Just with the name of Jesus, you're coming back with testimony. Just with the name of Jesus, every crooked ground, they're becoming played. Just with the name of Jesus, everything that has beaten you before, this time you are overcoming them. It is done now in the name of Jesus. You see, that name was a given name. I, I saw a man in the Bible, his name is called Peter. He understand that he got that message very clear. He says, silver and gold have I known? But I know I have something. Before he left me, he gave me his name. He says, there was no money. He didn't drop any money for me. But silver and gold have I known. I know I have a value. My value is my wonder. That, and the wonder is in his name. And that name is enough for me. He knew he has the name of Jesus. Let's look at Acts of the Apostles. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3, verse 6. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3. In verse 6. Look at verse 6. It says, Then Peter said, Save he was talking like this apostle now, like the 70 now. Silver and gold have I known. I'm not carrying money to give to you. I don't, I'm not here with money, but I know I have something that is more than money. I know I have something that is greater than money. His name was given to me. Anywhere I go, I go with his name. And if you have his name, you can go anywhere. That name is enough security. No power, no devil can lay their hand on you with the name of Jesus. And that name of Jesus is right there in you. How many of you are ready to receive that name tonight? Say, Jesus! Receive the name in the name of Jesus. And then look at it. It says, silver and gold have I known. But short as I have. I know I have something. Gave I thee. What did I have? In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I have that name. What was the next word there? Rise up and do what? And walk. It was a given name. I have that name. And if that name is with me, and there is nothing to worry about when I have the name. Now, let's move forward to 2 Corinthians. It says, Apostle Paul says, what I have is what I give. You know, those 70s, they know that they have the name. They know that there was a legacy left for them. And that legacy was the name of Jesus. They went with that name. You know, you don't need to wait for anything. That name is enough for you. All the miracles will take place through that name. All the money will come in through that name. All your provisions will be built through that name. And all the supernatural powers and things will take place through that name. It's a given name. That is the only property left for us. The name of Jesus is a given name. 
You're not going to joke with that name. You go with that name. And as you go with that name to the streets, tomorrow, miracles will begin to follow you. Jobs will look for you through that name. Men that hate you before will smile at you because of that name. As you are coming down, you are coming with that name. It's a given name. Receive it in the name of Jesus. In 2 Corinthians chapter 8. 2 Corinthians chapter 8. In verse 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 8. In verse 12. In verse 12. Are you there? Please, can you hurry up? Are you there now? Thank you. Look at verse 8. It says, For if there be first a willing mind, if there be first an acceptable mind, if there be first accepting Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, if there be first a willing mind, they met the Lord, they were willing, they were hunger. They want to go with the name of Jesus. They want to turn the world with the name of Jesus. They were so ready, they want to put us everywhere with the name of Jesus. There was willing mind. If there be a willing mind, look at what happened. Look at what happened. First, a willing mind. It is accepted according to that a man had and not according to what? To that he does what? He has not. They had the name of Jesus. They used what they had. They were not trying to use something they don't have. They use what they have. And when you use what you have, you know, you don't have concussion, you don't have devils, you don't have any powers. All we use in the name of Jesus, use what you have. And what you have, we give you solution in Jesus' name. Yeah. Let's look at Peter himself in the first Peter chapter 4. First Peter chapter 4, Apostle Paul says, you don't need to look for anything. Use what you have. Say you have the name of Jesus, use what you have. And they got the name of Jesus. They went out with the name of Jesus. They speak in the name of Jesus. They cast out devils in the name of Jesus. And then they preach in the name of Jesus. They healed in the name of Jesus. With this single name of Jesus, you will do everything. That amen is not good enough. You will do everything. How many of you are ready to do everything? You will do everything. Just in his name. It's happening there right now in your life. In Jesus name. In 1 Peter chapter 4. Look at it. Verse 10. 1 Peter chapter 4. In verse 10. As every man has received the gift. Given name. As you have received the gifts of the Holy Ghost, given name. As you have received the gift of sanctification, given name. As you have received the gift of salvation, given name. As you have received the gift in the name of Jesus, given name. It says, look at that place again, wonderful scripture, as every man. He gave them same power as every man. He gave them same grace as every man. He gave them same enablement as every man. He gave them same vision as every man. He gave them same power as every man. And then he says, as every man has received the gift, even so minister the same one to another. He says, even so, as you have received the name, even so, minister with the name. As you go and minister with this name, you will not be embarrassed. I can hear your amen. You live here this night and then you go to your house. 
And maybe your baby is sick. Just look at that baby like that. Use your hand and tap that place and say, according to the word of my pastor, be healed. And that child is healed. And then if you get home and then they say there is one problem, there is one trouble there, just tap the person, tell him you are healed, that person is healed. And this night you are here, there is one sickness, one trouble, anything there. And let's say you are not close to the person, tell the person, just put the phone on your ear, you are healed and that person is healed healing virtue is in the house tonight if you are healed shout the loudest amen as everyone has received the gift used the gift given name you have the name of Jesus that name is enough use the name and that name will give you anything you want in life have you not seen people who are flying dead they use the given name Jesus use the name it will give you wealth use the name it will give you everything use the name I will use the name of Jesus you're not talking I'm going to use the name of Jesus I'm not going to use man make power. I will use the name of Jesus. The 70 use the name of Jesus. They return back with joy. People that use the name of Jesus are always with joy. Joy you shall found in your family. Joy you shall found in your business. Joy you shall found in your future. Joy you shall found all around you in the name of Jesus. They use the name of Jesus. Point number three. In thy more excellent name. In thy more excellent name. It, it, you can see. This says in thy name. In thy name. It, it says. This says. We met the devil. But in thy name. We met Satan. But in thy name. We met troubles, but in thy name. It says, we met all manner of problem on that journey, but your name was more. Your name was more than them. When we met Satan, your name was more. When we met um, all the devils, your name was more. As we speak the name, all those powers were subject unto us. Your own name is more. The name of Jesus is more. Are there hunger? The name of Jesus is more. Are there no clothes? The name of Jesus is more. Are there no money? The name of Jesus is more. Are there any delay? The name of Jesus is more. Are there anything that look like is trying to make you cry? The name of Jesus is more. Are there anything trying to make you so bitter? The name of Jesus is more. They say we met all those powers. We met all all the troubles we made all the wahala but your name is more the name of jesus is more it's more than my problem it's more than my sorrow it's more than my pocket even when my pocket is less because his name is more he make my pocket more and then because the name of Jesus is more. Even when I checked up on my business and it was going down, the name of Jesus is more. It takes my business more. Everything around you is becoming more. I say more. I say more. I say more. You shall smile more. You shall celebrate more. You shall eat more. Oh my God. It says we meet all those powers. We meet the devil. We meet all the sorrow in this world. Everything was befailing us as we were coming. But your name was more. And because your name was more, when we come like this and they see us, we were more than them. Our face was more than them. 
our prayers were more than them. And when we say Jesus, they were subject unto us. In Hebrews chapter 1. Hebrews chapter 1. The name of Jesus is more. The name of Jesus is more. It's more and it's more excellent. It's not just more. It is more excellent. Very excellent. Very, very excellent. And it's more. The name of Jesus is more. Now, look at um, in Hebrews chapter 1. Look at verse 4. It says the name of small. We need to hurry up now so we can pray. In Hebrews chapter 1, in verse 4, look at verse 4. It says, Being made so much word better than the word than the angels, as he had by what inheritance those word of thee. What did he obtain? A more excellent name than the the name of Jesus was more than those powers. The more the name of Jesus was more and more excellent than they. And so when they were coming and they saw the name of Jesus, they became subject unto them. I pity people that doesn't have the name of Jesus. I, I, you know, I pity people that doesn't walk with the name of Jesus. And if you are hearing my voice, any part of the world, now you need the name of Jesus. You need Jesus. Jesus, accept him as a Lord and personal Savior because that is the ultimate the name of Jesus is more. And then they went to the Lord. They says, you know, your name was more in prayers. As we pray, it was more. And as we asked, it was more. Anything we say in prayers, it works. And tonight, as you pray, you will experience Jesus more. More than you experienced him last year. Where are you there? I said you are going to experience Jesus more. More than you experienced him last year. More than you experienced him last week. This week you will experience him more. You will experience him in a most beautiful way. His name is more. And then it says we experience you more in prayers. In St. John's chapter 16. St. John's Chapter 16, look at St. John's chapter 16. It says, we experience you more in our prayers. As we were praying, your name was becoming more. And tonight, how many of you are ready to pray? Very ready to pray. The name of Jesus will be more. You know, because his name is more, more souls, more money, more grace. More blessing, Amen. more. Amen. I say more. Amen. When you see anybody tomorrow, what are you going to tell the person? More, more. just more. And then he looked at you. He says, "But it's like you don't have money. Just say more." Each time you say more this year, more money will come. Amen. Each time you say more, more miracles will take place. Amen. Where are you? Each time you say more, story will become different. Yeah. Each time you say more, joy will be more. Yeah. Each time you say more, your provisions will have a new dimension. Yeah. And they say more, your name was so more. Your name was more. It says even devil were subject to your name. And I pray for you tonight. I pray for you tonight. Everything that has been less in your life, keep reducing, keep dragging down in your life. This night, I take them up and I speak that word more into their life in the name of Jesus. The resources in your life shall be more. Your laughter shall be more. I say more. I say more. I say more. I say more. In the name of Jesus. 
Look at St. John's chapter 16. In verse 24. St. John 16. Verse 24. In verse 24 it says, Either to have he asked nothing in my name. These people understand that the name of Jesus was more and they were asking everything in his name. He said, either to, you did not understand that my name is more. If you knew that my name is more in prayers, you will change your prayer pattern. You will pray more. Because the more you pray, the more the blessings I will give you. You pray more. It says, either to, you have asked me nothing. Asked. Because I'm more. Asked. And I will surprise you. I'm more. Asked. And I will turn things around. I'm more. Look, look at it now. Look at it now. It says, he that to. He that to. He asks nothing in my name. As and ye shall do what? Receive. That what happened now, uh, joy might be full. Look at verse 23. And in that day, ye shall ask me nothing. When I want to show you myself, because I'm more, before you ask, I will know what you want and I will make it more. It says, he shall ask me nothing. Very, verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father where in my name. My Father doesn't have any choice. He will give it to you. Amen. Give me amen. amen. But all in my name. The name of Jesus is more. Can you just smile at Jesus tonight? Do you know that he's standing before you there right now? He just wants you to put a little bit of smile on your face. For a long time, you'll not be smiling. You'll just be thinking. Can you just smile a little while with the Lord? And say, oh, my sweet darling, I smile small at you. You're too sweet in my life. Can you just smile small? Let him just see your teeth. Let him just know that it is well now. Everything is all right. He's standing there. He's stopping you there. He's more. He's going to give you more. He's going to give you more. Even the one you lost last year, he will give it to you more. Even the one you last, lost last month, he will give it to you more. I, I, is it, are there anything that bother your heart? Don't worry. He will double it. His name is more. He do it more. You know, you, you lost it and then you lost it and you lost it. If you lost three times, it will triple it. It will make it more. It will make it more. It will make it more. Is it worthy you ought to have celebrated and it's not there? Don't worry. It will make it more. It will make it more, more, more. I say more. You don't seem to understand. My heart is full of joy because Jesus will make it more. Are there things that we ought to have done? It couldn't work. It couldn't work. It's going to be more. It's going to be more. I see it becoming more. It's going to be more, 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 more. It's done in Jesus' name. It's going to do it more. I say it's going to do it more. I say it's going to do it more. How many of you believe that? Look at the Lord. The Lord is looking at you. How many of you believe that? You, you know, you, you, are, you have been so down, so down, so down. Don't worry. He will do it more. Yeah. As you pray now, he will do it more. Yeah. Look, look at what he says. He says, when two or three gathered, I do more. I do more. And then, that was why when he was sending them, he sent them two by 
two. And then if you look at that in Matthew 20, 18, 20, don't read again because we want to pray. And then he did it more, he did it more. And then in Mark 16, verse 17, it says, my signs and wonders will be more. And then he do it more. This night, the Lord is about to do more. I say he's going to do more. You have not given me an answer. I say he's going to do more. Number one, in thy name. It says, we become so powerful in your name. And then it says, we conquer all those devils in your name. And it says, the testimony came in thy name. And then point number two, it says, it was a given name. We realized that that was the property you gave to us. That was our legacy. We use it well. That you gave to us, we make good use of it. We turn the world around. With the name you gave to us. We didn't play with it. We didn't play with it. And then the nurse says, Master, do you know that your name is more? It's time we call that name. Even the devil was subject to us. Your name was more than poverty. Your name was more than our trouble. Your name was more than our hunger. Your name was more than our situation. And this night, that is what you are going to experience. Can you lift up your hands and begin to worship the Lord and just bless the Lord and say, Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me your name. Where are you there? Where are you there? Can you just thank God? Can you just bless the name of the Lord? I say, Father, I want to thank you for giving me your name. That name is a given name. I worship you. I bless you for this name you gave to me. Jesus is the name. Thank you for Jesus. Jesus is the name. I worship you for this name. And I bless you for this name. Glorious name. Wonderful name. Beautiful name. Glorious name. Awesome name. A wonderful name. Can you worship him? 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 Wonderful name. Beautiful name. Glorious name. It says in thy name. We saw it in thy name. We enjoyed it in thy name. It become wonderful in thy name. In Jesus' name, we worship. There is wonder in the name, the name of Jesus. There is power in the name, the name. If you want, there is power in the name, the name of Jesus. There is power in the name. Let me hear you. There is power in the name of oh, the name of Jesus. There is power in the name. There is victory in the name. The name of Jesus. There is power in the name. The name of Jesus. There is power. Come on, I want to hear that name, that hands. There is power in the name, the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name, the name. 